guys how's it going how's life so in this video i'm basically going to show you guys my body fragrances um that i have and that includes my perfumes and my body mist i don't really have a lot of those um i do have some you know but i don't have a lot i know that this is one of the the aspects or the sectors of hygiene that i can't let go above and beyond um, because it's not going to be used. Okay. I'm going to show you guys things that I've had for years that still has not been completed. All right. If you guys want to know everything that I have, um, all the perfumes, all the body mists, like maybe thoughts that I have on them, then stay tuned and keep on watching. Okay. So you guys are going to see my face for this video. So I'm going to be here and, um, this is basically what my collection looks like a body mist and some of the matching lotions so i'm going to show you guys that this one is a old granddaddy love spell from victoria's secret okay and i have the matching lotion this is what for the youngins i mean i'm 21 i'm about to turn 22 so i'm not that old but still for the youngins this is what this one used to look like okay this is what this one the body cream used to look like uh focus please yeah so that's what that used to look like. Um, I have this, I don't know why I still have this swallow in here, okay? My mom gave it to me and it looked exactly like this. It was literally right here, okay? And I don't know why it's still not gone. It needs to be gone, it needs to get out of my way so that I can put it in empties, okay? Not even make room for new, new stuff, cause no. But just to get more empties, all right? One of the other things that my mom ended up giving it to, giving to me is she actually doesn't shop from Bath and Body Works. She's more of a Victoria's Secret type of girl. Um, she ended up getting this from someone. Someone ended up giving this her, to her from her for like a present or something, I think from her job. So she ended up giving it to me. She doesn't really like vanilla like that. But I, and I don't really like vanilla like that, or at least I thought I did it. This one was kind of like, I felt like I could do something with it. So I went ahead and take and took it. I was like, oh, okay. This don't really smell like dirty Oreos. <laughs> like I thought it, it, it usually smells like. So let me take it. So I ended up taking this as well as the body lotion, which is right here, which is the body lotion right here. Of course, you guys can see that I've used this quite a bit, but I mean, not quite a bit because I've had this for a couple of years now. So this should be gone. And um, this is almost out the way as well. Another thing that I have, this is one of the strongest smelling thing, strongest smelling things that I've ever gotten from Bath and Body Works. I didn't pick this one up, but my grandmother ended up getting it. I feel like this is a good scent for old and young. It's not a you're on your deathbed old, but it's not a straight out the mama's womb young either right i feel like it's a go between like you can be of any age and and rock this i've been complimented with this scent by older women a lot and i've smelled it on younger women a lot this is one of those smells that you can smell on smell it as soon as you smell it you you know exactly what it is okay this is not necessarily my favorite scent but i like it enough to where if i was done with this i would repurpose it my older ones that i have is the sunset guava colada um they don't sell this one anymore i end up going for a semi-annual sale one summer and i had 25 dollars and i end up spending it on this one this one's almost done um because like i've said before i more so lean to work fruitier smells so this was kind of like in my range fruitier fresher smells um i also picked up this mediterranean blue waters you can't even see what it says on the name because the name is rubbed off i've had this the exact same amount that i've had the sunset guava colada and um they don't sell this anymore as well now i'm going to show you guys this beautiful day because i've had i end up purchasing this one again last year but i got this when they had like the darker blue liquid and it had the flower on it i just had to um repurchase it repurchase it because my sister ended up taking it from me so i mean i had to rebuy my own stuff again i was like dang i can't never have nothing so i have the the repurchase or the repackaged version of beautiful day as well as the body cream now in my opinion, I've never been the biggest fan of this scent because it's a little bit too florally for me, but I do like it better in the body cream because I feel like the apple note comes a little comes out a little bit more than the body mist does. But it's a it's a nice scent that I use during the spring and summer times. 
this is a new scent that I just purchased and this is the Midsummer Dream. I have it in the body cream as well as the body mist. I do um, lean to lean more toward body creams because I like thicker products than I do uh, the lotions, but that's just me. But I heard that the body creams, you have to use those as soon as possible sometimes because those expire, but I haven't had any I don't have a lot of body creams that are old, so I can't really tell you guys if that's true or not. My last Bath and Body Work mist is this fairy tale one. Now I got this one. This is a new one. I know that a lot of people were talking about this one. They kept on saying, "Oh my gosh, it smells so good! It smells like perfumey and stuff like that." It smells like um, I don't know what this is supposed to smell like. I think someone said that it's supposed to smell like baccarat rouge. I'm not sure. I don't know who said that. Who said that? Maybe it's not this one that it's supposed to smell like. I don't know, but I don't know what any of those smell like, okay? This is a decent scent. I usually use it around fall time because that's when it came out. And of course, it's a, a floral scent as well, so you can use it year round. But th that's what I have. I have two mixed bar body mist, and I have this coconut palm, which I really like. It's kind of like a musky coconut, coconut smell, and I really like that. Um, I do notice that coconut it's kind of like a, another go-to scent for me because you you really can't go wrong with coconut scents in my opinion i also have this tangerine squeeze and i just picked this up from marshall's for 4.99 i had been wanting this especially when i was doing my uh two weeks of a certain scent when i did the citrus smell and i wanted to get this one but it was like sold out at the time and then by the time it finally got back in stock i wasn't i wasn't like going to stores like that anymore so yeah i ended up picking up from mix bar for, for, for 4.99 the other one was 8.99 so i guess that was a deal i have the coconut i have the coconut fantasy from body fantasies um i actually had the small mini version and i was like oh i actually like this is what made me realize i like coconut scents i had it like right here and i was like oh, okay i actually like that let me go back and pick this up by the time I started doing the hygiene stuff. I was like, okay, this is actually one that I actually like. Let me go and pick this one up in the full size. So I have the Coconut Fantasy in the full size. I have a random one from Ariana Grande and that's the Thank You Next 2.0 one. I usually don't get the perfumes and the body mist, but I decided to get this one because this was a limited edition one. And I wanted, just in case I ran out of the body, the perfume, I still had the body mist to go through because I know I, take a long time to go through body mist this body calls you one i have this in twilight um mist uh i like this one this is a coconut violet and vanilla it does kind of give me like a slight medicated smell sometimes but i like it i like the smell of this one it didn't have i didn't pick up the matching lotion or body wash i'm not really sure if they had those but when i bought it it only had the mist in stock so that's the one that i got i don't really like the caps the sprayers on um these body ecology ones because sometimes when you spray it for some reason this can sometimes fill up with liquid and it starts getting all juicy and stuff and like on my hands i'm like i don't want my hands to smell like twilight mist i just want my my clothes and my body to smell like it please stay where you need to go goodness gracious okay i also have picnic breeze i've used this some people compare this to the gingham which i i said that i was done with body with a uh, bath and body works but i'm not because i have gingham from bath and body works okay i only have the body mist um and i'm almost done with this i purchased this like when it first came out a couple years ago i think a year or a couple years ago so so yeah but i forgot about that one the Picnic Breeze is compared to the Gingham. I feel like this one's a little bit sweeter though. Um, I also have it in the lotion as well as I have the complete set. I have it in the lotion. These, is, these are the ones you get from Walmart. I have it in the lotion and I have it in the body wash. I have Pink Vanilla Wish. I have Pink Vanilla Wish, which I have in the fragrance mist, the body cream, as well as the body wash. I have watermelon splash, which I have in the body cream, the body wash, and the body mask. And I also have coconut hibiscus, which is the same thing I said before. I have it in the body wash and the body cream. Let me show you guys the body cream, okay? 
that's it for my body mist let me move on to my perfumes and that one should be a little bit quicker okay so i have my perfumes in this little tier this marble tier that i end up getting off of amazon it was super cute i wanted something to wear like i can stack it up and this is back when i only had like two three um ones i basically started off my collection with the ariana grande perfumes because i feel like the ariana grande, grande perfumes are the best perfumes to start off if you're like young and you're kind of like a beginner with perfumes because usually all those smell good the other ones that you have to randomly uh like you have to do blind buys at marshall's burlington's tj maxx ross stuff like that sometimes you won't know what it smells like and you could smell like a grandma and like i said i've told you guys this before i'm young and vibrant <laughs> I don't have time for that and I don't know how to mix fragrances like that yet so an old lady's perfume I, I can't necessarily make it smell young for some reason I feel as though um, I don't really have um, a specific body chemistry like I don't have a body scent that interacts with the perfume or body mist and changes it up usually how it smells in the bottle is how it's going to smell on me and if it's changing, it's because you're now smelling the middle and the base notes. Not because my scent is mixing with it and it smells great all of a sudden. No. If it didn't smell good in the bottle, it's probably not going to smell good on me. If I don't necessarily like how it smells in the bottle, it's probably, I'm probably not going to like how it smells on my skin. Okay? But yeah. My first one that I have is this burberry body i went blindly and bought these but it's usually after only the suggestions of people that i've watched on youtube from the hygiene community um this is a suggestion from living ash i think she was talking about this like she really liked the body milk that basically looks like this it's very cute it's very cute packaging but for me i don't really like the scent like that so I wouldn't really buy this again. This is not a another buy for me. It's a, okay, I'm, I need to use this and then it's done. But I think it's only, it's a 1.1 fluid ounce. So that's why I have so much gone. I usually use this with the Madagascar vanilla. While vanilla that I showed you guys, I don't know. I just do it like a vanilla and floral element. But I just spray it all over me and stuff like that. Once this is gone, I, um, I'm not buying it again. <laughs> so yeah. One of these, I know this may be an unpopular opinion, but a lot of the times, I, this usually if I don't like the very first perfume that I smell from you, it's very hard for me to want to try anything else that you you made. Now I don't know if the nude perfume of this smells good. When I smelled it in the body mist, I think I liked it, but I don't know yet. This one, this is like. I don't dislike this perfume I actually like it but I feel like where I am in life this is not the perfume for me if that makes sense I feel like with this perfume from Rihanna this I don't know is it rebel fleur or rebel fleur rebel fleur I don't know however you say it okay and this is in the either what is it 1.7 fluid ounce in the one fluid ounce okay this is let me let me give you guys a pen a picture where I am in life is um, I'm trying to get my bearings. I'm trying to figure out where I am in life. With this perfume, I feel like I should be, I should have a dog. Um, I shouldn't have no kids. I should be living life. I should be um, living alone um, in a nice two bedroom condo, uh, high rise, you know. I'm making bank at the job. Uh, I, I'm out of debt. I'm debt free. You know, I'm. I have an office job to where I'm able to go and look cute every day. Um, I'm a VP of something. I'm in various different clubs. I go to brunches on Sundays and Saturdays at one o'clock. That's what I feel like I should be with this person but this it's making me feel like I need to do better and right now I'm not there at the better yet so will I purchase this in the future yes right now after I'm done with this no as you guys can see I've used this quite a bit okay I'm just saying I just don't feel as though it's me yet I'm not there yet it's a little bit too grown for me okay not me giving y'all a whole background story on these perfumes hopefully y'all get to this part because that was good 
that was good i need my props okay i also have this burberry uh from for women i think this is the original one now i got this one off of walmart and usually walmart sells uh the authentic one when i first smelled this it kind of made my head like jerk back a little bit because if you like a lot of wood scents you may like this okay this is very woody like i looked at the notes and cedar is listed in there like two three four five six seven eight nine ten times i'm like how many how much cedar that they put in there and that's exactly what you're smelling it's very it's super woody okay but i actually like it like it took it took me a while to grow on me but i like it well it didn't take that long but it took once i put it on my skin i was like okay i can dig it so yeah would i purchase that one again this is actually like the 3.5 Four. this is the 3.3 fluid ounce so this is the full size i think it's going to take me a long time to get through this um because i have other ones but yeah i also went and got this burberry touch um i want to try burberry her but this is not this is i don't have that one this is the burberry touch i think i got this from marshall's or tj maxx or something like this this is like the 1.6 fluid ounce this one i didn't know what pink pepper or peppery scents meant but i think when i smelled this it i was like okay I get it now this is a very peppery scent so if you don't really like pink pepper you probably won't like this if you don't like peppery scents you're not like this now let me this is i like this one but let me tell you something else that kind of like my nose is very particular and very i don't know it's all over the place when i smell this when it sits on my skin i feel as though it gives me a you know the the bug spray off it kind of gives me that type of scent i don't know why like i'll randomly start smell like i'll have it on me and then i'll start smelling like bug spray i'm like where who sprayed bug spray and i'm like oh wait it's me okay oh okay so yeah and it smells like that in the bottle so it's not my it's not my chemistry smelling it's not my chemistry changing it but that's kind of like what it reminds me of a little bit bug spray I know that doesn't seem like why would I want to get that but I'm just telling you what it smells like to me it, I'm not opposed to it but it, that's what it smells like I have this Davidoff cool water the woman um, I think they have it in male version but I actually really like this I think I like like I said I like fruity fresh and then I guess I like aqua scents as well this one smells really nice it kind of gives me like a unisex smell but they already have a, a a male version of this so you don't necessarily have to use this one but i really like this one so yeah i would buy this one again i have this white kenneth cole and i end up having to go into burlington one day when i first start doing my uh buying perfumes and stuff and the reason why i ended up deciding to get white because usually i probably wouldn't have picked this up because i don't I, I wouldn't know why that would interest me white from kenneth cole they also have a black version that i want to get that one as well because i think i smelled the spray the body mist and i was like oh i like that i like that one i heard about white from chloe yasmine and she all uh, she would I think in her like older videos because I started watching her last year like late last year and I start going back to watch her older videos and I think in her older videos she always talked about the the mist so I end up getting this one and I actually really like this one I, I don't this is one of the things that I feel like I wasn't deterred I wasn't steered wrong with this one some of the other ones uh from different people I it's not my favorite I'll be like oh no it's not for goodness gracious so i thought i almost dropped that I, well i did drop that i almost thought that i almost broke that but yeah it's not everything is not for everybody okay but that one that one was for me and i will for sure purchase that one again this is the regular 3.3 fluid ounce and um this is the regular britney spears fantasy i actually really like this one it's more like a very powdery sweet smell and i actually have this one on today i paired this with um I paired this with the Jasmine Peach Lotion from EOS as well as um, the Blue Fig and Orange Blossom from Dove. I feel like those things kind of go well, well together because they have kind of like powdery, sweet, uh, fruity, it's like powdery, sweet scents that I like. 
So yeah, I'll purchase this, this one again. And I'm interested in getting her Midnight Fantasy because I think a lot of people say that they like that one even more than they like this one. I have this Honey by Marc Jacobs. Now, one of the, I didn't even tell y'all, one of the perfumes I ended up doing a blind buy was the Red Door from Elizabeth Arden or something like that. Um, that was before um, I listened to anybody speak about it, but I think Chloe Yasmin talks about that perfume, but I hated that perfume. I smoked it and I was like, and I bought the 3.4 flute ounce for $40 at Walmart and I had to return that. I was like, huh, absolutely not, absolutely not. I could not. But the reason why I'm bringing that up is because this was one of the ones that I was almost about to bring back. This was going to be the second one that I almost brought back. But then I was like, mm, it's probably going to grow on me. And I really like the bottle. So I got the Marc Jacobs Honey one. I kind of, I don't know if I necessarily want to try it. Because I all his other ones, because I know that all his other ones are floral. But like I've said, I think before in other videos that I'm not the really biggest, I'm not the biggest fan of Honey Suckle. Okay? This, I thought it was going to be like... Something that I could pair with that Olay Moisture Ribbons Honey Body Wash. And it was going to be like that sweet scent. But no, this is basically honeysuckle. Okay? This is a flower. This is floral. Which I should know because Marc Jacobs operates in nothing but floral scents. So I'm not really sure why I was so surprised by that. It grew on me and I was complimented about these scents before. It's not necessarily something that I was smelling the bottle and be like, oh, I got to pick that up. I got to pick that up. Pick that back up. Now, I feel as though I don't know if I would necessarily buy this again, but for the time being of having it, it does what it needs to do. I'm going to my bottom row, and my bottom row is where I contain all my Ariana Grande perfumes. Now, the Ariana Grande perfumes are the ones that I first started out with. My first one that I picked up, let me show you guys the first one, the first two I picked up. The first two I picked up was this sweet, like, candy scent as well as the Cloud by Ariana Grande. And I picked up these one fluid ounce bottles from um, Walmart, okay? So this is basically what it looks like um, when you put it, after you take it out the scepter. It's very cute. Although these things can be a little bit bulky right here, these little things right here. So I don't know how it's gonna look when I first, when I start getting the full size versions, but yeah. And I think a lot of people say that uh, her perfumes kind of like have a pickle juice smell when they first get it, but I haven't, I haven't gotten that smell yet. So I'm happy about that. This one, this one is like a sweet scent, but it's not necessarily what I thought it was going to smell like but it smells decent all of her her perfumes kind of all smell the same but different at the same time one of my favorite ones by her is the the Ari from Ariana Grande this one I end up getting from Burlington um, because I couldn't find it in Walmart but yeah this is the one to ounce as well and I actually like this scent I don't know why I like it so much but I do this is her very first one that she came out with I believe I also have the Moonlight, and as you guys can see, this is a big bottle. This is the 3.4 fluid ounce, and the reason why I have this one in the big bottle is not because I love this one. I uh, I like this one, but I bought it off of the Walmart website, and it made sense to buy this one for $28 instead of buying the one fluid ounce for $25. You gotta be mindful. Money has to make sense, okay? Especially when you don't got it like that. You need to think about, does this... Will this add up? Does your pockets add up? Does this mentally add up, okay? And this added up to buy the 3.4 fluid ounce over the one fluid ounce for $3 more, okay? That's what I got right here. I also have the uh, Thank You Next, the first one, as well as the 2.0 one. Now, I got this when they re-released it on the Walgreens website. Like, they, they were sold out, and then they came back, and I was like, oh, okay. I guess they're coming back. I like these two. This one has more of a strawberry note and I'm not really sure what this is. This is like, but I actually do like this one. A lot of people like this one over this one, but I like them both. Okay, the one that didn't fit on my cage is this Ude Juice Love Unfiltered. Now, I end up seeing this in my Marshalls or TJ Maxx or something like that. I tried their... Um, they had a blue, another blue one that basically smells like REM from Ariana Grande, but I ended up getting this one. I saw it because I was like, okay, this probably may be a li limited edition one or they no longer sell it anymore. So let me pick it up. As well as I think I heard it from someone who like mentioned it and said it smells good. Now I like these. 
um, these Ude Juice. They're very cute, but I do feel like sometimes at the end, the sprayer starts to act kind of funky. So that's the only thing that I dislike about the packaging on that. And I think this is only 1.7 fluid ounce. So all this, this, in this big bottle, it's not even a liner. I have some DKNY um, Be Delicious perfumes, and I have the mini version um, of the original Be Delicious, the green apple one. Now this one, I don't know why, I, I don't know why, because I have to realize that perfumes don't necessarily smell exactly what it's supposed to smell like. Like, it doesn't smell exactly like, if someone says green apple, they mean green apple and other stuff. It's not going to be straight up like if I was to get a body mist to where if it says rose, it's going to smell like nothing but rose, okay? This smells fresh. Uh, I'm, I don't know if it necessarily, I don't know if it necessarily smells like an apple to me, but it smells like a fresh uh, fruit, fruity fruity scent like i don't i don't really know how to explain it it's not necessarily my favorite one but it smells like like i can see that it's supposed to be apple right now i have this uh limited edition coconuts about summer and it basically gives me the smell of coconut water kind of gives me the smell of coconut hairspray coconut you know it it, it kind of reminds me of that type of coconut it's not like a it yeah, it kind of reminds me of co a coconut hair product, okay? I like this one. Um, it's not my favorite coconut scented thing, but it's cute. And then my last perfume, my last mist, which I'm sure you guys are ready for me to be over with. I have this, this Rebel perfume in the scent Slay, and it's a Hey Paris collaboration. That's what the um, box looks like, and this is what the bottle looks like. Um, it's a... 2.4 fluid ounce so it does come I got it for it does come with a quite a bit in it it's a cute bottle and I got it for like $45 on the website when she released it now she when she was advertising it she was advertising it as one of those scents that could be for anybody she wanted to start off with a scent that could be for anybody but I will say that this scent is not for anybody okay this scent is for people who like florals this is this scent is for older people people who like older scents okay um when i have it on it grows on me so i'm going to have it on i'm going to use it while i have it but if she was like to do a re-release re of this or something like that or if i was to recommend this i couldn't because i do not like this type of floral it kind of reminds it's not like a sweet i would have liked a little bit more sweetness to it um but it's very cute I just wish, I, I don't know, I feel like I just wish it would have been more of my cup of tea or more, more, you know, inclusive with the scent smells. Okay, guys, I knew that was a long video. I know that was a long video. I don't know why it took me this long to get through the thing. I think it's because I was talking too much. I was talking too much. So if you guys watch this video all the way through, I thank you very much, okay? Don't forget to like, comment, and most definitely subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.